day starts as we arrive at Kaplow and collect our training kit before heading to the changing rooms to get ready. During the pandemic, social distancing rules demanded players to use both changing rooms, with some even having to change in the boardroom. Here we see one of the ways MCT money has been used behind the scenes during the summer. This dressing room was repaired and repainted by volunteers. After getting changed, players head to the hospitality lounge for breakfast that is prepared by the club chef, Tony Buckley. During the 2020-21 season, the hospitality lounge was used in the way change rooms and because of this, the lounge was damaged in parts. During the summer, MCT volunteers also helped repair and repaint the lounge to get ready for the new season and the return of hospitality. After breakfast, any players requiring treatment will visit the club physio, Paul Kelly. With assistance from MCT, the club was able to acquire the new equipment to help treat injuries and help keep players fit for match days. The players travelled to Partley for training. Partley pitches were redeveloped last year by Inverclyde Leisure after negotiations with the club. This is just one example of how the community-owned club can work with agencies to benefit the community. The training is held under the scrutiny of Dougie, Andy Mellon and David Scott. Once training is finished, players return to Capolo for their lunch. Around Capolo, there are many examples of how MCT money has been used to improve areas of the ground. During the summer, all barriers were repaired, sanded down, repainted as seen here on the Sinclair Street end. The steps were all painted with the new yellow safety paint and we are led to believe that this is the first time they have been painted in almost 20 years. Fans who were situated and the wee Dublin end for the Airdrie playoff match may have noticed that many of the stairs were taped off for safety reasons. During the summer, these stairs were rebuilt, meaning the stand is now fully available for fans again. Following lunch, players head to the gym for strength and conditioning work. The gym had been open under previous management but hadn't secured necessary consent from the local authority. Under MCT control, the club has obtained the legal documentation for the gym and had a new flooring and equipment installed to allow players to train under our sports scientists. And as COVID restrictions continue, the gym is also being used on match day to house away teams. We hope you've enjoyed this insight into Caplo and the work that has been done behind the scenes by the MCT funding and volunteers. With the help of the memberships and the community, there is nothing that Morton can't achieve on the pitch.